Pricing out homes, how is it done? Is it automated? Is it a long process? Find out on today's Real Talk. Today, we have the wonderful Melissa Glover. Thank you for coming on again, Melissa. My pleasure. So, Melissa, I had a client ask me a question the other day. We were going there for a home evaluation Uh and telling them we were going to go back and do a report. And she asked me, do you have some sort of software or program that you punch all these things into and it spits out a number? I'm going to let you answer that question because that's the subject of discussion today. Yeah, um, no. The short answer is no. And the reason is that is because every property is unique. And when I go and do a walkthrough and I go back to my office, it only takes me four to five hours Mm -hmm. to come up with the right number. It's a very manual approach that we take at the team. Yes, it is. And uh, it's the only way, I think, to help your clients. Because if they could push a button, you know, Yes, it would be easy, but but real estate is not easy. It's not easy, especially in our market. So what exactly does it entail when we're talking about manually? Like what exactly, maybe what are some of the sales that you're looking at or what okay. are the, the houses that you're trying to compare it to? Like maybe give a bit of an inside look to what the process is. Okay, so it depends on the property. Uh, as you know, we we sell uh, uh, residential, just regular homes, and then we do a lot of rural properties. Yeah. So, Rural are a little bit more difficult. Maybe I can speak to that. Um, when I'm looking at a rural property, for example, um, I'm looking at size of lot. I'm looking at uh, square footage of the home. I do the walkthrough first, look at all the finishes, and then I go back and I compare all the solds in that particular area. And to come up with the right number um, takes time. And it's really important that your clients have that right number. I know that time is precious for everyone, but it really is worth taking that the time to do it. And when you're talking about time to put this report together, are we talking like 30 minutes? Are we talking an hour? What are we talking? Um, again, it depends. But on average, I would say my I spend probably four hours on my average evaluation after I've seen Holy the property. Swamps. Yeah, after I've seen the property. And so we do our appointments, we do our walkthroughs, our listings in two appointments. Yes. Uh, could you speak a little bit about t- why we do that and sure. what the difference is from, from what maybe other agents in our marketplace sure. typically well, do? Yeah, well, when you, we get a call on a property, um, you know, we, we have an idea of the square footage, we know where it is, but that's really all we know. Um, maybe it's never been sold, we don't have photos, and we really have to go in there and look at it. Look at the, you know, the quality of the finishes. Has anything been done? Uh, What does the backyard look like? What do the neighbor's houses look like? All of those things. And all of those add and subtract from value. And then we go back to our, uh, I go back to my office and sit down. And with all of that information, when I go back for the second appointment, I, it's like a story. I'm able to show them exactly where their property is. And that it's very helpful. And does this process change depending on the market? Meaning if the market's really hot and you know, you're know you pricing at a certain price, knowing you're gonna get multiple offers and that process changes based on the market slowing down or is it uniform regardless of the market? It's always the same. Um, and even if we know that it's a hot market, then it then it comes down to strategy. Mm-hmm. Do what does the client want? Are we going to list it where where we think market value is? Are we going to do holding offers? I mean, those are all the things that we talk about at the second appointment. Um, and it, again, it's given that the market. It's also the product. Like how hot is that area? How many of them are on the market? Yeah. And and then we make that decision at the time of the listing. Because just as much as you're looking to find the price, the value of the property, you're, you're just as much trying to find the price to list it at, the, st- the pricing strategy in order to get to that value. Exactly. They're, they're equally as important and equally as diff- difficult to determine. Exactly. I think. exactly. Now, is there anything else important that you'd like to share or that, that we do differently in our listing process? Yeah, the only thing, and I can only speak from what my clients tell me, is that uh, just the the detail that we do. Right. Um, 
we go in and I'm told that the other agents, because we're always in competition for listings, or almost always, mm -hmm. um, they do maybe three, four comparables. And I mean, often I have 15, 20 or whatever Yeah, the book looks like this. Yeah, yeah, whatever we need for that particular property. Um, and when I leave there, they clearly understand where the, the value of their home is. And I think it's important to note, it's not just you going into your office by yourself and looking at a computer right. and, and, and doing these right. comparables. You know, you've been in the business a long time and you know as much yep. about real estate as anybody, yep. but you're still, you know, I see you going to a few people's office, you know, maybe this person knows a bit about this part of Flamborough, Absolutely. this person knows this pocket of Burlington, you're consulting with them. So, you know, it's, it's a collective opinion. It's not just your idea. Well, it's the beauty about being on the Wilcott team because we do have a lot of people like, you know, Jane Wilcott, for example, knows everything I believe there is to know. And I often just ask her opinion and, uh, you know, it just gives me the confidence that I'm leading my clients in the right direction. Awesome. Okay, Melissa, we're going to switch things up a little bit okay. this morning. We're going to do a speed round. I've got a Ooh. few uh, one-liners here. I'm going to spit them out. Okay. And you just give me the first thought that comes sure. in your head. Sure. Okay. One, two, three. Virtual staging. Sometimes it's a good thing. Depends on the property. iPhone photos on listings. Never. Why do you need a realtor? <laughs> Open houses. Again, sometimes, uh, especially rural properties, it's a great one to bring people from Toronto out. Yes. Bluetooth lock boxes. Mm, there's that's there's lots of issues with those. I think there's plus and minuses Agreed. there. <laughs> plus and minuses. Hot topic. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much for coming on, Melissa. My pleasure.